Boba Fett has always been a fan favorite of the Star Wars legacy. He has a huge cult following. And finally, on Disney Plus, there is The Book of Boba Fett, his own show, a spinoff of The Mandalorian. And we are here to give you our real take on the first episode directed by Robert Rodriguez and written by John Favreau. Right, the same John Favreau that created The Mandalorian. So if you like The Mandalorian, then hopefully you'll like this new episode. It's a masterpiece. I mean, I'm gonna give it five yeah, reels for boredom. sure. What? <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about this episode? I think we both came out of it feeling it. Well, it's a setup. It's episode. a setup. It's, it's exposition. exposition. You know, right? it's it's. If you enjoy Star Wars, if you enjoy The Mandalorian, I think you'll enjoy watching this. It has a lot of the same formula. There's always a conflict, you know, of sorts, and then, um, you know, I mean, it, it, <laughs> not not much happens. You know, not much happens really, other than establishing kind of like a connection between The Mandalorian mm -hmm. and e, the original Star Wars trilogy. I'm, right. I don't know how much we can or we should. Should say. shouldn't because it's it's a nice little treat at yeah, the beginning there yeah. is definitely a connection there and of course the plot focuses mostly on his taking over the bib fortuna uh, reign if you right. will and jabba's palace right because after after jabba you know got killed bib fortuna took over and now you know our boy uh, i was about to say the mandalorian in most espa yeah boba fett has come in uh, he's going to be the the, the daimo you know he's going to take over he's the new crime lord for the area right you're right and he's like letting all the businesses know hey look i'm the big dog in town you know? i'm gonna i'm gonna take care of things around here yes. i'm gonna be your protector your Gifts, that type of thing. And then he gets a uh, commission, right? In return. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You got to pay for his protection. Yes. And then uh, that is juxtaposed with scenes that uh, go take you back to him. Uh, what like what happens to him after Return of the Jedi? Thank you. Like, uh, how is he still alive? <laughs> that type of thing, you know? And um, right, right, right. Yeah, kind he, of like his trek that right. got him to where he is at this point. Yeah. yeah. And he spends a lot of time with some with Tusken, the Raiders. Tusken Raiders. Tusken Raiders. <laughs> some jobs. I was uh, <laughs> yeah. as well and yeah. uh common thread and theme across the mandalorian and, and this show or this episode so far is the, the that you have to prove yourself you know in order to yes. earn or in order to gain something you know you have to you have to prove yourself worthy so that's very front and center in, in this episode yeah that's you a know? good observation because they yeah. parallel that from these flashbacks that he has right these right. like they're like flashback dreams you know uh and they parallel that with of course you know him being the crime lord right and having to prove him worthy of taking up the mantle and stuff so so yeah uh, it's it's not you watch this episode it's not like gonna pull you in and be like oh my gosh i have to binge this now but it's at least interesting and it, it sets it's things up it's entertaining and we're also talking about robert rodriguez and whether he had his flair or trademark in this episode right. uh you know he's known for sin city desperado and mariachi spy kids so all, he's all a little those, yeah. campy he's a little you know spoofy at times yeah, and i didn't really see that in this episode like i can't you, i didn't watch this and think oh this is identified Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, I didn't either, which was interesting. But I felt that the action sequences, the choreography, sometimes looked very stagey. Yes, lacked absolutely. some realism. And I know that Disney and Star Wars wants to keep it PG thirteen. Maybe even just P well, PG thirteen. But I really hope yeah. that that doesn't uh, you know affect or you know. I don't think. I, it, I, I don't think it will. I don't. I don't think it will because we're used to it. But it just it seemed a little bit like lack yeah. lacking in in excitement an and an yes. edge very I, much. I was like, yeah, you know, there'd, there'd be some fight scenes, right? Or or you know some sharp objects. I'm like, where's the blood? Wow, you know, where's the gore? Uh, shouldn't that thing's head be chopped off by now or something you know i mean that's i like that stuff <laughs> yeah i will say that uh, muera morrison as boba is good oh, yeah yeah of course and Excellent. uh and ming na wen ming na wen yes as a you fennec know, mulan the original mulan voice yeah they're both good and of course we we yes. first uh, uh met them um well i mean they were introduced or not introduced but they were a part of the mandalorian, the mandalorian right yeah. and so uh hopefully you know there'll be some cool like cross Crossovers going on later on. I don't know. You would think there would have to be. There right? would have to be yeah, at yeah, some point. Universe. But uh, you know, it's nice to go back to Tatooine. It's nice to go back to the desert planet. See the some most of that. Eisley Cantina. Yeah, always fun. The, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That yeah. was that was a good scene. You know, yeah, they, for they, sure. They they do a good job of dropping in some different characters. You know, you get your kind of mini world building in this little thirty eight minute episode. So. 
again, just just very exposition heavy. Kind of kind of too early to give our actual like. Yeah, you know, get a little yeah, unfold, guys. I'm, but I mean, definitely worth a watch. So yeah, all right. I mean, if I'm gonna give a rating, do you yeah. want to give a rating? Go ahead. Um, wow. You know, I I would say this is. Ew, it's so hard because I don't want to be unfair to it, you know. I, I'm going to say it's a four because I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. <sighs> Just because I think that there's going to be some good stuff to come. It's tough. Um, I, I know exactly what you mean. And in my mind, I was debating three and a half or four. Something that just popped into my mind is that I really liked the spaghetti western feel and kind of like mystery or, or, or intrigue aspect of the Mandalorian that I felt was kind of lacking in this first episode of Boba Fett. I think that this episode really relies on Temuera and his performance. <sighs> I don't know. To me, it's more, it feels more like a three and a half reel show or episode or episode so far, but I'm hopeful for it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, Fingers crossed. Right? There you we go. don't want any, any Star Wars, you know, property to fail, so... Hopefully there's more in store for us, guys. And hey, that's our review of the Book of Boba, guys. Let us know what you think. I mean, if you're a huge Star Wars fan, do you think this lived up to expectations? Or are you concerned this could be a flop? Let us know in the comments down below. We love those conversations. Absolutely. And don't forget to look up the Real Screeners on social media at TikTok and Facebook, Real Screeners, Instagram, Real.Screeners. And of course, subscribe to our channel, guys. If you love our content, we put a lot of work into this. Smash that like button. Hit that bell button so that you know every time we upload a video. And hey, just like you said, check us out on social media yes and don't forget to look up our latest movie mashup merch on realscreeners.com please check them out we have some great you know apparel on there such as our latest star wars vader verse time variance mashup with you know loki and so really exciting stuff guys um and don't forget to tune in next week for our next real take on movies or the latest tv shows